right. There you go. You're on recording. All right. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. All right. So we're waiting for Carla to come back in. Well, we'll just, she'll just join us whenever, I guess. Um, our opening, whether it's uh, a reading, a prayer, meditation, I don't know what it is other than Robin's going to open our class. Mm -hmm. So you're on. We're going to open with the grandfather. This is the bowl that adopted me at our, our bowl ceremony workshop thingy. So this is the grandfather. <laughs> Now that we have been centered in this lovely grandfather energy, which is really attuned to the throat chakra, I'd like to read a life prayer from the Life Prayers book. After a while, you learn the subtle difference between holding a hand and chaining a soul. And you'll learn that love doesn't mean leaning and company doesn't mean security. And you begin to learn that kisses aren't compromises and presents aren't promises. And you begin to accept your defeats with your head up and your eyes ahead with the grace of a woman or man, not the grief of a child. And you learn to build all your loads on today because tomorrow's ground is too uncertain for plans and futures have a way of falling down in mid-flight. After a while, you learn that even sunshine burns if you ask too much. So you plant your own garden and decorate your own soul instead of waiting for someone to buy you flowers. And you learn that you really can endure, that you really are strong, and you really do have worth. And you learn, and you learn. With every failure, you learn. Amen. And it's still going. When he's really going, you can feel the energy all over it. Great cool. And that's what happened. You know, I wish I could tell you, but it's listed as anonymous. I don't. You got a copy of it? I can get a copy of it. This little book you can get just about anywhere. Um, but yeah, we can make a copy of it. It's one of my favorite ones, and as you can tell, the book opens to it because we've used it so many times. So yes, we'll make copies of this for you. That's beautiful. Are you guys here now? Yep. And then will you come home with me and play the bowl until I fall asleep? Sure. Thank you. Are you with us? I am. Can you guys hear me now? Oh, gosh. We can't hear you. We can't hear you. Can you hear us? Okay. All right. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Booted. No. <laughs> All right. Um. Let's uh, let's see where you are. Um, on Monday we opened with talking about oneness, and uh, Tuesday we talked about it again. 
And you know what? We're going to talk about oneness again right now, except I want you to tell me, what, what is oneness? What is it, oneness? <laughs> Good question. <laughs> No separation, she says. <laughs> okay, no separation between what and what? Everything and everything. Us and God, between us and each other, us and all living sentient beings, us and, and all of creation. Non -sentient beings. <laughs> I consider it between us and this table. We're all made out of the same stuff. The same energy, the same thought, the same big bang stuff. Science has proved not that. Not even Trump. There's no separation, not even Trump. <laughs> There's a chat function so she, you don't have to keep using your yeah. paper if you want. I don't know if I can see that. See it. Okay. <laughs> so is oneness one of the, uh, the words that we use for God? Y'all do here. Yeah, I mean. What, what, wait, what, what, what did you just say? I said, y'all do here. <laughs> uh, uh, don't you mean we all do here? <laughs> I'm learning, I'm learning. I'm learning, okay, all right. I haven't had that class yet. Uh, hang around, I, I hang around idea. all of us and you'll pick it up real quick. I got the idea. God is everything. the one and the only. You don't really need to finish the sentence. This is uh, this, this is this is one of our truths, uh, and, and really, it's it's probably all that we need. God is the one and the only. Every everything that happens to us comes from God, is made of God, and it is good. When I hear the words, I am, together, okay, it always, I mean, number one, God declared that is God's name to Moses. Right. You know, I am that I am, not, you know, I am other things, I am. And um, when we had the concert, well, I didn't go to the concert, but had these folks for worship in the workshop, um, the song that she sang, I Am, I mean, it just, I, I loved how it went around, you know, I am to God, and then I am God is, I am, whatever it said. I am, you are, God is, you are, I am. Yeah. 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 And to every, every time I see the words I am, I think God. Great. Right. Hi, Karen. Karen. Yeah. Oh, can we get that thing out of here? Oh, it's free. The little arrows up at the top. Yes, the those arrows, arrows, those arrows. Ah. That's the one. Yay! Now we can see. Well, I wonder if we can hear Karen. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Okay. Can you hear me now? Oh, great. It's, 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 it's got to be. It's got can you hear me? Yeah. Maybe. Can you, can, can you hear, can me? hear Karen? Either. I can hear you, Carla. I can hear can everybody. You, okay. okay. Oh, it looks like Karen and Carla are having a conversation together. So, can y'all hear each we other? Are. Yes. Yep. But and you can hear us, but we can't yep. hear you all. I'm gonna check. Well, <laughs> that won't work. I can tell if it's mute mode. I don't know. Okay. Somebody's checking. All right. Okay. Uh, if you can hear us, we will go on. And Jenny uh, is. We'll see. Is gonna be our. 
tech person. No, no. Then you're in trouble. <laughs> oh, no. Why not? We need a 10 year old. That's right. <laughs> yeah. Copies of the prayer for everyone. Okay. And I want to read that book. 365 like prayers. Okay. All right. The truth is often difficult to grasp and remember because the world around us. There it is. You did it. You can yes. We got the no. computer audio back. I oh. can hear. Can you yeah, it says mute all or unmute all, not pushed unmute all, but it doesn't. It's not doing anything. Well, oh, we got okay. the stuff up on the top. Back. Well, are we talking? We weren't talking. Okay. I'm talking now. Can you hear me? I can we'll hear see. you, Karen, we'll but pull. I don't think they can no, hear us. I can't hear you. Okay. We can say all kinds of bad things about them. She and Karen are having a conversation. Oh. <laughs> well, that's good. That's they can good. hear each other, but and they can oh. hear us. But we can't hear them. Uh. You could be saying all kinds of things about us. <laughs> uh, I, I chose unmute. I'm unmuted. All right. Is it still recording? Yes. Okay. All right. Enjoy the quiet. <laughs> okay. Every good thing comes from God and is made of God. And the truth is that can be nothing else. This truth is often difficult to grasp and remember because the world around us has a slightly different appearance on the surface. We tend to depend on people, places, things, and circumstances. And we seem to have little influence over these things. And the assumption is that this is, this is life. And it's an illusion. In reality, people, places, things, and circumstances that we depend upon for what happens to us, and assuming that we want it to be good, it really is an expression of the infinite power of God. All right. Um, everything in this book and everything we're talking about is second to this truth. And that's the reason for the third night in a row we're again talking about oneness. Because it must become, well, what's, what do I want to say, ingrained in us. Oh, our assistant is here. That's, that's good. That's good. And it's not anonymous. It's Jose Luis Borges. Oh, oh you looked it up? Oh. You found it? Yes. Oh, okay. Amazing what Mr. Google will do. That Google oh. is something else. This is not the same one. Oh, well, they stuck, they took out with every goodbye you learned. Right. Well, actually, they didn't have with every failure you learned. I put it in. So I just had it in my mind. Okay. Well, the one we have is this, but slightly different. Same thing. I don't think it's. I looked, I don't think it's any different except for the one line. No, it's different. Is it? Mm -hmm. Well, then I'll go copy that one. Yes. Well, actually. I'm glad you made it safely. This uh, works. How was your drop? This doesn't have the, the grandfather. It's true. So that made it different. Beautiful. The red buds were out. It was right. gorgeous. Yeah. It looked like pink. What's the grand pink world? Uh -huh. oh, wow. <laughs> it was beautiful. Yes. Oh, Karen, I, um, I can't wait to hear how your mama's party goes. I know. This I is bad. They are talking. We're together. <laughs> yes, they are. Yeah. I read a poem for our opening prayer, and Ray, Ray, Ray the, the grandfather is a crystal ball that we played. 
and then I read a poem and Ray found a copy of it, but it's not exactly the same. But it'll work. It'll okay. work. All right. When you just get all bogged down with all these books that you have to buy for these classes and you go to Buku workshops, come back to <coughs> your understanding of whatever name you like to refer to the one. That's where it all starts. And as much as we read this, we read this, and we do this, and we do that, we need to stay in tune with the one. And that is through meditation and the silence. And then everything falls into place. All right. Uh, I want to take a few moments to uh, just to, to touch on the four functions of consciousness. We, we talked about it yesterday. Um, the four functions of consciousness are the ways in which we deal with and manage our inner actions with the outer realm. We think, feel, sense, and intuit. So, they, they're absolutely important, absolutely important. And I think that I, I uh, suggested uh, yesterday that you deal with these in the form of questions. Slow down and ask yourself, what am I thinking? What am I feeling? What am I sensing? And what am I intuiting? Doesn't matter what order you do it in. Who did? Donna. Hi, Donna. Hi, Donna. We can't hear you, so can you hear us? I can. I can oh, hear okay. you. We're having, we can't hear any we of have you. A, you all three can talk. Can Donna, you can't hear me. No, hear me. Donna well, can't hear us, but we can hear each other. Can you hear us? Yeah. Can you hear yeah. Me, yeah, I can hear you guys. I've got storms going on here. They keep knocking the internet out. Oh, but we're going to have our own class and talk about them. Get in yeah. some sort of habit okay. <laughs> of asking yourself these things. Um, in, in a way, and in one of the, the, the books that I read, it referred to practice the art of the four questions. Through, throughout your day, periodically stop in the midst of whatever you're doing and pause and ask yourself these four questions. Slow down and take a look at what you're thinking, feeling, sensing. All right. After 20. But this is pretty cool, ladies. Uh, yeah, but we don't have to respond to the homework or nothing, um, do we? <laughs> let's talk a little bit. You all talk about this amongst mother. yourselves, really so we'll wonderful. do the same. Um, <laughs> Is Jenny with us? Oh, she's in the classroom. I see her. Yeah, that's too bad. <laughs> yeah. Um, okay. Thought and feeling work together with the word, which we're going to talk about. They work together with denials and affirmations, which we're going to talk about tonight and creation. They all work together. Carla, are you saying something? Once we understand that a thought does not it again. see every feeling, we can better understand how we interact with the outer world. This is the whole key. How do we interact with the outer world? As well as how we experience the inner realm of consciousness. When we believe a thought led to every feeling, it seemed we had absolute control over our feeling nature. This, the discovery that feelings can and often do precede thoughts certainly changes our view. Thoughts cause feelings. Feelings cause thoughts. So perhaps thoughts and feelings occur together. All right, this is all leading into 
what we refer to as the law of mind action. And at this point, can our beliefs come in there with feelings? Can our feelings come from our thoughts and our beliefs? What's your weather doing, Carla? It's just Here's cloudy. Question. Boy, the wind is blowing down the tree <laughs> branches and everything here. Yes, it was earlier here. I was telling Carla the drive over was incredible. It was so beautiful. All the red buds are out, and it looked like pink. Just a pink world. And so, if I want to know what I believe about something, I can look at what I think and feel about. Real fairy world. A lot of people live in Lexington. I may be able to know what I'm thinking, and I may be able to discern what I'm thinking. I might not know what my beliefs. Donna, where do you live? What's that? Lexington, Indiana. Yeah. Which is a little bitty town. I'm right downtown. I'm, I'm a block across from the school. Layer to this conversation. You know, our so, yeah. brains and our whole system are wired for survival. In relationship to Indianapolis. The fastest thing that happens in our brain is, is this situation going to be one in which I Indian, got Where that Lexington is? is so uh -huh. I'm probably wired. 100 miles down south kind of, of Indy. Deal. 30 miles north, 40, 30 miles north of Louisville. Oh, oh that's easy. Yeah. Actually, more like 45 miles north of Louisville. She's not far from Madison. No, close to Madison, about 15 miles from Madison. I teach uh, at Hanover College every year. You're kidding. Okay. Oh, no, I'm right by there. I teach an incredible meditation class for philosophy. Oh. Um, if you want a seat, I'll get you a seat. Go to my website. I'm going to put my name down, my website on here. And, uh, oh, awesome. Uh, it's very fun. It's uh, sound healing, and I'll put that. Um, a lot of different areas of the brain that tend to be triggered. Right. Yeah, I'm six miles from Hanover. I have to look it up. But there's, 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 before somebody has a thought, makes an action, anything, it's like there's something that, that that's going on in our brain just before it. And it, it came out of research. They were looking at something else, and they saw this. It wasn't even something they were looking for. And so now they're looking into it a little bit more. So it, they're kind of, it, it's bringing up a question of the whole free will. Well, they don't even have a scientific explanation for consciousness itself, so it's all pretty funny. <laughs> it's a lot of theories. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I mean, I mean, our conscious is just the tip of the iceberg, our unconscious. So, uh, huge. I guess they don't see the chat either, do they? They might. We are <laughs> not a victim of our <laughs> own mind. Oh, I sent that to, uh, to Carla. Sorry, We're I can do it to Carla. at their mercy. Yeah. At least Carla, you got it. Mercy of divine ideas. We have total dominion. We choose moment to moment what we master or to what degree we abdicate our power. Don't know if we really thought about that much before we wandered into unity or not, but that's a big thing. The whole mind action. All right, I want us to talk a little bit about the word. Gosh, and they cannot talk to us. There's a chat box. Carl's making faces. <laughs> I'm happy to sit over there and, and read the screen if they want to be able to chat with us. Not affirmatively if you want to chat with us. Okay. Okay, well, we got two, and we got the... Yeah, we got the third one, yeah. All <laughs> right. I'm already saying I'll maybe paraphrase what they're saying. That'll be fun. Okay. <laughs> that will be fun, yeah. <laughs> okay. All right, are you ready? Donna says hello. Yep. <clears throat> Uh, whether spoken to oneself or out loud, 
The power of the word fuels our thoughts and our feelings. Uh, what do you know about the word? There's a whole chapter in here about the word. The word and the power of the word are how-tos for gaining control and mastery over consciousness. The power of the word derives from the divine ideas making up our innate Christ nature. When we use divine ideas, they are colored and modified by collective consciousness as well as individual consciousness. Carla says, all creation happens from and through the word. Donna says, first there was the word and the word became man. Okay. Or woman. And woman. Humanity. <laughs> Words can heal or kill. Kill, says Karen. I have a great story of how it can change a life. Is it short? Yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Some of you may have heard it. Um, this little Presbyterian church that I went to had hired a new pastor fresh out of seminary. <clears throat> it was a second career guy, so it wasn't like brand new, but um, he didn't ask the session for permission to use inclusive language or sexist God language. He just used it. And there was a woman there who said, who uh, shared that she did not have a really great relationship with her dad. And so she always thought of God as that grandfather picture up in the sky and the clouds. And so to hear scripture, you know, the love of God, it was always very distant. And when she realized that she could have Mother God, because she had a really good relationship with Mom, then everything changed for her. <clears throat> her relationship with God became intimate. Her understanding of scripture all of a sudden became personal. I mean, it changed her life. You know, just the power of an idea that somebody said that he believed it. That's why he used it. You know, God is everything, so he wasn't going to do any he's or she's, that kind of thing, uh, where God was concerned, and it, it changed her life. Mm -hmm. It wasn't me. <laughs> You're sharing the story. Though. Yes, because okay. it was so powerful, um, and it changed, her story changed how I talk about God in public. I may relate better because of my own relationship with my dad as God the Father very comfortably. Um, but in public, I'm not going to do that because what if I block somebody else's block somebody connection else. to God by a word that I use? And did, what you said is the whole, whole thing behind uh, embedded language. Uh, it was a couple years ago that it just, I don't know, Robin, you can help me on this. It seemed like it was a big to-do, embedded language, oh, yeah. the old, yeah. Embedded theology. Embedded theology. Yeah, and yeah. the thing was, by the time it reached us, you know, from the community God. village and, yeah. and all of this, it's it was. language for God. And yeah. No sexist language, no he's and she's, and God became it. Yes, that we're going to do away with the word God, and yeah. I want to know what you mean by embedded. Yeah, I, that's a new phrase for me. Oh, gosh. <laughs> so embedded theology, embedded language, is, is usually comes out of what you're taught as a child. Um, it can also be out of race consciousness somewhat, but typically, so for instance, when Kathy is here for some of the other classes and she talks about how difficult certain things are for her because she was raised Catholic, Catholicism is her embedded theology and she needs to, you know, and each of us has that if we were raised right. in any kind of a religious um, affiliation. So we need to recognize that it's there and then also look for ways to either incorporate it in a new way or get around it. Um, it can be what we were taught. It can be part of race consciousness. There's, um, I think we have embedded beliefs as human beings based on 
you know, like I think there's an embedded belief in the United States that individuality is paramount. Um, and we're what? independent, not interdependent. And that's the way, it's just kind of how it works. And nobody really necessarily knows why or where it came from on some of this stuff. It's just there. That's embedded. Does that make sense? Um, I think it's an, uh, wait a minute. I think this is important topic. I like specific use of language. It changes the race consciousness and helps us grow collectively. Mm -hmm. Yes. Exactly. Yeah, one of the things it says in the book is that the only way to, to get beyond race consciousness is to be aware of it and to actively work to rise above it. This is one of the uh, beautiful things that you see happening with our children who were in our children's yeah. program yeah. because they watch those those terms. Whereas the, the rest of us, uh, I grew up with the King James Version of the Bible. And, yeah. So, uh, so that's, that's what, when you hear that phrase embedded language, um, so, like, the general public using the word mankind for everybody is an embedded thing. Yeah. You know, because it can't be inclusive, because you have to be taught. Karen says, my Unity Church says, centered as God, I find this very helpful. Wait, wait, wait. It went away. <laughs> okay. Uh, my Unity Church says, centered as God, I find this very helpful to make sure we... Uh, differentiate ourselves from traditional religion. Uh, thank you. And then Carla says, even sports team names being changed to avoid hurting sections of population. Mm -hmm. Certainly. Yeah. I kind of gave my kids a double standard because I told them that, you know, words can, they can heal or they can hurt. Mm -hmm. So they need to be very careful with their words. But by the same standard, not everybody realizes that. So their classmates may say things that that can hurt them and to try to to get beyond that. So I, I know that was a difficult, I'm sure, concept for them. But, you know, I, I, they, there were just some, some issues going on at school and name calling and whatnot. So, you know, anyway. Um, Donna says, when I write a song, it all starts with the words. The words actually write the tunes. One word changes everything. Yeah, that is yeah. so cool. Yes. Yeah. Yes. That is very cool, Don. Yeah. Very cool. We, uh, I, I don't want to assume that everybody is on uh, a path to become a licensed unity teacher, uh, but somewhere or another, you may find yourself facilitating a class, whatever. We have to be aware of of how in our prayers the use of father, mother, how that uh, how that might influence. Uh, it it may trigger something. Um, we we don't we don't know what's going on with folks, so. The more we can get uh, our our own personal language to to a place that uh, well, what's the word? Um, Acceptance. Yeah, but that's that's difficult <clears throat> because whatever our age we've is, we've always done it this way. We've always done it this way, and we have a lot of years of. Of, of doing some things uh, that are insensitive, and even though we don't mean that, okay? All right. And I truly believe that um, it's imperative that I stay in integrity with my language. I don't use um, words that can be hurtful. I, I try really hard not to say things that are belittling or demeaning or in any way harmful to another person. And at the same time, 
there will be times when something that I say in my integrity will cause a reaction in another person. And then I have to remember that those words are not, it's, it wasn't from my intention that that happened. It was from their perception of what was said. And that is work that only that person can do. Because if I, if, if I were to make the intention to never say another thing that would harm another person in any way ever, I would never speak again. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. <laughs> Karen work. says, because, uh, no, because people, people take that offense to that. that. That's, That's right. right. Karen says, yes, yay for the integrity part, not the other. Yay. <laughs> but that's, that's exactly right. You you have made a, a commitment to be in integrity about your language. Right. Um, but that doesn't mean that people won't take offense to something that I say on occasion. Right. And typically it's because I've said something that's hit a nerve for them. Mm -hmm. And they're, respond, they're not reacting necessarily to my words. They're reacting to their reaction to my words. You can turn that up if you need and, to turn that up. And that's up. just going to happen. That is just going to happen. Happen. No, um, no. It can. Um, for people who know that everything is a lesson and that there's a blessing in everything that comes your way, it can be a good thing. It, for other people, it doesn't yes. feel that way. Donna says, words lead to misunderstanding because we base them on our past and personal selves. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, yeah, we do. We do. The, the intent is what is kind of key. Mm -hmm. And if, if you are... Uh, making every effort to be in integrity, that's, that's, that's all we can do. And we do stumble. And, and who knows why uh, something that we will say might open up an opportunity for a, a discussion. Who knows? And but, the interesting thing for me is that when I stumble, it's usually with Ray. Mm -hmm. Because it's so much sense. easier to even angels bump wings. <laughs> That's true. Who said that? Donna. Donna. But typically. That's a good song title. Mm -hmm. yeah, typically, <laughs> if I'm going to fall out of integrity and say something hurtful, it's going to be with him. Because I, it's like I let my guard down a little bit. Yes. Yes. And things come out. I, I think less when I'm speaking, when I'm talking to him than I do with other people who are not as close to me. Karen says, some people like me and some do not, and that has nothing to do with me. It's true. Carla says, I noticed that Canadians, at least in Ontario, are much more polite, <laughs> considered, and speech than they tend to be really noticeable. <laughs> yeah. I've heard that. So if you're from I mean, Vancouver, you're West Virginia are a you lot might nicer not get along. Is that yeah. what you said? <laughs> Oh, did you say that? So if you're in Vancouver, you won't get along. All right. And then I think the first thing I'm not Karen? because you know you um, who uh -huh. was it? I can't remember. There was I'm a story not, about you know two. He was watching his uh, mother. I'm not seeing your comments with another. Oh, that's mother. too bad. Let's see. Put them under everyone. Here. Put them under everyone. You know, but they're not speaking. Oh, okay. And feeling behind the oh. words. Yes. Mm -hmm. I have three options, Carla, Donna, and Valerie. Oh, you don't have every. Oh, no, I got it. I found it. Oh, gosh, you all have jumped ahead. That's my last question. Oh, oh my goodness. What can I say? No, we're going to come back to it. Robin said something I want us to talk about. Okay. You what? I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it has nothing to do with the laundry basket. Okay. It's all your fault, Robin. I laundry basket. Oh. <laughs> I told her she has my permission to use the laundry basket until the laundry basket is empty. No, no. It, it, there is a place oh, where I am going to bring you. I was thinking about you right. because I was doing laundry. I have three laundry baskets in no. my bedroom. <laughs> See, you are in good company. Good. Glad I'm not the only one. Touch my and, and, and I might as well insert this. I have brought this up for two nights. And I have to be honest with Robin. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't have a laundry basket. My laundry that I did two nights ago, it's all folded and it's on a chair downstairs <laughs> waiting for me to carry it upstairs and put it away. Carrying I don't know how many days it's going to be on that chair. You can 
think we can do enough of it to make it worthwhile. I don't. You know that moment. When it happens. Right. I'll go that moment. Karen said, I left the clothes on my guest bedroom before I left and thought of you. <laughs> Donna says, Mine hasn't made it uh, into the dryer. Oh. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. Now, the, the laundry, we got to put it in the basket over to the side for a minute. <laughs> Robin said something I want us to talk about because she really addressed something that happens with all of us. She said, when I let my guard down. Really what you meant. Um, Did we lose them? I, to I don't know. I think so. Sure. Maybe she's thinking. <laughs> what I can't <laughs> 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 <Get>, hear that. <laughs> you know, in a few minutes, the lava will say, "Ah, oh, we can I'm hear you." <laughs> I'm ready. <laughs> I'm ready. <laughs> yeah, just kidding. <laughs> Yeah. Using to be very careful. Yeah, we can hear you all along. Um, uh -huh. When I'm sitting at home with Ray, I have less intention about sometimes about what I am saying. I'm, I'm doing less filtering. Um, and I, I, I think because we've been together for so long and know each other so well that I know that if I you know, if I'm feeling something and I just say it however it comes out, that he's not going to take offense to it, only that's not always true. I don't know that it's so much letting my guard down. It's that I feel like I don't have to be as careful with him. Speaking more from your heart, Robin. Well, I would hesitate to say that because usually what happens is that what comes out is not from my heart at all, or at least it sounds that way. It can be very cool at times. Well, I wonder if maybe because you are trying to be so intentional when you're out in the world mm -hmm. that when you get home, it's like, yeah, you know, it's like your kids. Mm -hmm. How many times, you know, did, did your kids come home from a play date and the mom go, you have point. the best behaved like kids in the world? You go, trust, but is she not mm -hmm. talking about that? Sometimes we have a lot of shared history. I think she was talking about how she sometimes hurts Trevor and Ray's feelings yeah. sometimes. Voice oh, about meaning to. Maybe you live with other people and you don't have that history with That's his wife. He's a big boy. He can handle it. If you do that to some degree, but after a while, you're making more to meditate on. You've got to go some work on that a little bit. So his wife is in here. She's trying to be in here. It's like the comfort of putting on a flannel nighty. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so, in <laughs> right, my said. job, yes. families <laughs> who are, you know, they're in really awful circumstances, many of them, they will do and say things that are inappropriate and not effective. And I don't, you know, what I do is try and help them, you know, talk through it and help them to see that maybe there's a different way that they can do something. With my loving husband, um, instead of you know talking about the fact that maybe there would be a more effective way to do something, I'll just say you know thank you for making the bed, but it was really half-assed today. <laughs> oh my! He laughs because we have an agreement that Good. we'll do anything as long as we can do it half-assed because that's how it's going to be done. Yeah, um, yeah, that's great. But, <laughs> I don't know. Yes. I don't think I have said that to me. Well, I back up. Yeah. <laughs> well, he's not changing the brakes on the car. <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm less careful sometimes about what I say. Oh, I don't think I'm outside. <laughs> <laughs> And you I know, if she said that very often, he might volunteer to but change the brakes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And I, I think, I, I'm not sure which person said it's like putting on a flannel. Um, yeah, that was yes. I think we, we probably all have the flannel nightgown. Not me. Um, 
you know, and that really takes the whole discussion in a, in a different direction. Uh, what do we do then on the relationship? Um, Donna, do, I'm so sorry. Donna says, as yes, long as yes, he doesn't change the brakes on the car half-assed, it's good. <laughs> <laughs> ah, yes, Donna. He knows better than to touch the tool. Oh. <laughs> yeah, so when we find ourselves in this... Is the flannel nightgown just being comfortable? Is that what you're <laughs> we're aware of how our word or words be a hottie in a have like <laughs> the other person, and and we can like, follow up on you know, or follow the room. And, you know, I but, hope they can't. Re um, I hope when it records, it's you know, not recording. I, 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 I <laughs> and, really about AA, but I love the expression oh, no. of making. Wouldn't that things. be funny? No. <laughs> Because that's not an AAC, yeah, that's a human being interaction thing. Just be you, and Carla. We, uh, no. No. That, um, then, then hopefully we, we stop some hurts and hopefully we open up a dialogue yeah. where there is some positive growth in these. With him. I have permission <laughs> to show more of that shadow side. Sure. Okay. See the light of day often. It's almost like I have permission for some of that stuff to be there, so that I can look at it and go, "Oh, I don't, I don't know that I want to mm -hmm. keep that." Part. Or, you know, I, I need to love that one and transform it into something else. You guys need to share. I don't necessarily <laughs> share. Other people. Time for um, a break. I, I was just going to say that. Absolutely you don't. Why? You're the minister's <laughs> wife. Well, even before I was the minister's wife, I don't know that I necessarily felt like I had permission to talk about some of my deep, dark underbelly with other people. Okay. It just it, It's not something I think that we do a whole lot, most of us. <laughs> You don't feel, I mean, you all must have, I mean, that it, I think it speaks well of your all's relationship that you mm -hmm. can do that. Mm -hmm. So, well, and, and to be honest, he has my permission to do the same thing. So we have some very interesting conversations at our house sometimes that I'm really glad are not recorded. <laughs> as far as you know, as far as I know, not. <laughs> the cat could talk. <laughs> All right. Now, I well first I, I, before I go on to my question, um, I, I just really appreciate your uh, your openness. Thank you. I'll let you know if I find out that I'm fired as the minister's wife. Uh, <laughs> How much does that job pay? I would. Oh yeah. <laughs> Um, they, are, they, are, they are, they are, they are. Um, I hope that's not recorded. Uh, you know, I, I just, uh, not enough, that's the answer. That's right. for sure. They're not writing, <laughs> that's okay. probably. I, I just, you know, the pictures of Hogwarts, you know, the oh, other pictures. Those <laughs> three <laughs> are the best periods <laughs> on that, Jenny. Hogwarts. Okay. <laughs> This is the reason you take most fun class I've had today. Me too. No, Me too. <laughs> trust people and you share some things. I think there are a lot of people out there that would be very surprised. Very surprised. Here with us. <laughs> Hogwarts <laughs> and flannel my gifts. Coming together, supporting each other. And and there are tough times and then there are great times. And throughout the whole thing, we're making it. We are making it because of the divine. All right, here's the question. Hey, Karen. And you're not even going to write about it. I know. <laughs> they, they've got to be things. We are sharing such profound things, and they're laughing their heads off. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yes, there is. And healing, right? 
Mm. Y'all are getting wet. Okay. All right. Okay. In a way, in a way, Carla they says, have answered our It is the whole way. <laughs> don't choke. Don't let it come out your nose. Are they Swallow carefully. <laughs> Yes, we don't want them to know that. <laughs> All right, now we already know. Here is my question. We are talking. <laughs> we have been talking about. Oh, great! Come on in. Is it working? No, no, <laughs> we can't hear them. So they're but they're having a they're great time. Something. They can. <laughs> yeah, we are. Reading it. Yeah, we're, <laughs> Um, we've been talking about the spoken word. How do we express ourselves without speaking? Oh, and and we we <laughs> baby, we love talking sign language. And we love <laughs> And we love preaching to people. And and we have all kinds of how do we express our thoughts? <laughs> because we've been talking about Donna thoughts type in mind. <laughs> Is that something we can repeat? She said it's typing. Typing, yes, yes. Typing. But sometimes I've got the trigger and I don't know. Oh, Lordy. You could be downhill for that threesome. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> how, 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 how do you know for your facial expressions? <laughs> and <your hair>. Endless. <laughs> All right. Let's, let's narrow it in a little bit. Because uh, you're right <laughs> You're going to the grocery store. <laughs> the time you get out of your car... You go in there. How 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 do you she lost them? What words no, she's thinking. are spoken from you? When I go to the grocery store, I start with a prayer. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay. I try right. to get in touch with patience and gratitude and um to make it into an opportunity to touch somebody that needs something that I have when I'm there. It's like an opportunity to be in the marketplace, to be around other people, to be in a social environment. So you start with a prayer that you're going to have an opportunity for an interaction. Wow. Yeah. Most people are going in and looking in their purse or whatever for their coupons and out of my way, I got a prayer changes you? Yeah, it definitely does. It makes me a lot more patient. Than I'm oh. Nobody's in my way. They're not out of anything I need. It just changes the whole experience. For me. Okay. That looks good. I like that. Yeah. That's why I haven't been getting my morning start. Better shoving people out of the way with your card, ain't it? <laughs> yeah, it is. Yeah, I'm usually just hoping that I've eaten recently before I go in. My husband does that for me. <laughs> and he is the most little helpful person in Walmart there is. My mom and my yeah, that's wonderful. A social time. My mom loved nothing better than to go to Sam's on the days that they had the Sam's. And she would meander up and down every aisle and taste every mm -hmm. sample and talk to him about the recipe and talk to him about this. And I know doggone didn't well she was never going to make what they had, but my mom's a horrible cook. <laughs> but it was <laughs> so Right. I have uh, a number of friends there at Senior Citizens Day at the Jeffersonville Kroger's. And I'm I know. On my staff meeting day, so I'm always there with them. Once <laughs> Are you? Sorry. I do not go in to that Kroger's on that day. <laughs> <laughs> I like to say <laughs> my daughter says. <laughs> he sorry, is been so he has so all problems. the time and he keeps a list of everything he has to do and there's a list for the grocery. So we go to Kroger's yeah. and there's always the list. But he loves to go to Kroger's. I missed how this everything. went into the word, but and he just, you know, I sit here thinking the same thing. 
the, unless the word is food. <laughs> you know, I did the how to before you go to the grocery store. <laughs> it don't work if you drink before you go to the liquor store. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Makes it worse, doesn't it? <laughs> All right. Yes. <laughs> I, I, wonder, I wonder if we eventually get to that. <laughs> <laughs> you ladies. <laughs> Too much fun. Well, why, are, why are we talking about <laughs> I don't know. Well, I don't know. With you all. Um, if you um, go to the website and click on this, the name of this class, it'll take you to the... Uh -huh. Sorry. All right. You give me so much ammunition. Okay. <laughs> Don't shoot. <laughs> that's, that's my spiritual gift. I give that's right. There you go. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Letting your guard down. All right. We're what, very much aware that? of our words, our voice tone, and what we say to other people. Is that about Are we as aware to Maybe our that was it. unspoken message? That oh, we unspoken messages. People. That's what it was. I bet. <laughs> no, I'm not. Yeah. But it is for me. I try really hard, <laughs> but it is yeah, amazing. I'm not. I'm, I'm not as good at controlling my facial expressions as I am my words sometimes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So we're more aware of our words that come out of our mouth. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's usually true for me, I think, yeah. Carla says, do you need to research your computer, Gwen, during break to see if that fixes it on your end? Um, oh, let's not I do think that. We're, <laughs> 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 we're being recorded anyway. Why does it matter? <laughs> Carla says, body language says more than words. <laughs> do you want to try to restart it? Then? Not me. You're our tech person. <laughs> I know the five steps of getting it. They're going to have to listen to back to this just to hear what we're laughing about, aren't they? <laughs> yes. You would think I can't I believe really we're being recorded. I don't I come think to that, my house. That would be. <laughs> I, <practice. laughs> I bet it's. I have a clothes basket full of cords that no longer do anything. <laughs> That's uh, why your clothes aren't in the basket. <laughs> Are we talking about cutting in half yesterday? Mm -hmm. I love the person that said that they still literally cut and paste. Although I have moved on. You you don't cut and paste. I copy paste. Copy paste, yes. Copy. Okay, uh, well we're getting sidetracked. How do <laughs> we speak without the verbal words? Waiting for a name joined. Mm -hmm. I saw that. You ended that with a question what? mark. Oh, waiting um, for a name. Oh, waiting for a name. What shall we name them? <laughs> Good one. Let's see what they look like. Can we turn the webcam on? No. They can hear us, though. Mm -hmm. you know, the best thing. Oh, the oh. best <laughs> thing that we need my box. Yeah, you needed to see that. <laughs> The, the best thing we have going for us is a smile. It's a sexy smile. Oh. I thought she was so uh, Jenny, funny. Jenny, uh, that, so to the people that are going to hear this, yes. that was Jenny first. Comment. It's jelly. Yes, it is. A smile. A smile. Jelly, can you hear us? What what yeah. else? What else? What is it about your demeanor? Just hold the mic, my bitch. You know, if you walk around like this, people are gonna think you're that you don't want anybody to come close to you, but if you're open, then people know that you're approachable. Okay. Eye contact? Mm -hmm. Definitely. <laughs> Are you the you were at the retreat? You you shared with us yesterday. Two people. How long did retreat. you? What? Which retreat? You on the Buddhist retreat? The forty-five yeah. minute stare oh, retreat. Yeah. That'd be something. I gave oh my God. It is. 
Yeah, it was a meditation. And they just said, you look deeply into the eyes of the other person and don't look away no matter what. Mm -hmm. And just treat it like an experiment and just observe what you notice. Okay, I've long? seen experiments like that. I wish we'd do something. 45 like that. minutes. That's what That's I thought hard. you said, 45 yeah. minutes. That's hard for 10 minutes. I did it at the forum. We did it for like 10 minutes. That was a long time. Well, the next time you go to wherever you go shopping, Robert's there. He's looking at his phone list, right? Mm -hmm. You're going down the aisle and people are coming toward you. Do you connect with them? Eye to eye. Or all of a sudden, are you looking at the things on the shelf that aren't on your list? I'm open and receptive and looking to connect, but most people are not looking. Okay. Right? They're not looking for eye contact. They're looking at the shelf. They're looking at their phone. They're talking on their phone. They're texting on their phone. <laughs> they're right. anywhere but at the grocery store. <laughs> exactly. And I'm kind of short, so sometimes there's just something up on the top. Donna says I go around looking for people I can reach things for. <laughs> Keep looking for you. You're not in my program. So, all right, we've got some. Uh, yeah, uh, we've lost our audio. I'm trying to reconnect it. Oh, they can't hear us at all. Yeah. All maybe. right. Now's the time to laugh and have a party. Um, maybe we should, I mean, if you don't mind, maybe we should take a break and try yeah. to see. Okay. Uh, you want oh, to wait a minute, we're back. Can you hear us now? It says it's restored. Yeah. Can, can you hear, you us, hear now? us? Yo, oh, they still can hear us. They're all digitized. There you are. We hear that. Well, we don't hear now. We lost you again. I'm getting nothing. Hey, Valerie says, can you hear me? This says that it's connected. Oh, 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 theirs are showing one green mic, yeah. too. So, And now it says it's been lost. They lost us again. Okay. okay. I wonder let if it's the wind that we're, and everything. Let them know that we're going to take a break. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, Five-minute break. Okay. This is, this is why we need words. <laughs> I think we are not. Put an eye on for your pain. Okay. Do you know yet? Uh, I don't know. Bye. Bye for five. Five. Five minute break. Bye. 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 Okay. Five minute break. They're going to restart, so we're going to get this.